Do you want to know how to make delicious scrumdiliumshus tuna patties? All right, it's very simple. We start out with two eggs that we're gonna scramble. As you can see here, I just got a big bowl that I'm doing this in. Cause this is where we're gonna mix the ingredients. This is pretty much like one pot thing, two tuna patties. Um, so we scrambled our eggs. We're gonna add in our tuna, don't get cheap tuna. This is bumblebee tuna, it's like not cheap, but it's not falling apart. I've had some tuna that was just like liquid in the can. But anyways, go ahead and add some garlic. Go ahead and add you a little bit of holy trinity that's green pepper onions and celery that i had chopped up before all of this add your seasonings um i what did i use i used some sloppy mama because that is just i use that on everything all right some pepper some onion powder some garlic powder and some paprika for show i don't know what it is about paprika but i love paprika all right, so we're going to sprinkle that in. Side note, just use whatever you want, whatever you think tastes good. This is like, you can really customize this. But anyways, so once you've got all that, mix it together. Then go on ahead and add in your bread crumbs. So here's the thing. I used, I think it was a 12-ounce can of tuna. It's the big can, not the baby can of tuna. Two eggs. And I'm going to say about, I don't know, I don't measure anything. A half a cup of breadcrumbs and I just mix it up and once I felt like it was a good consistency and that stuff is gonna stick and like form the patties I formed my patties as you can see here that's what I'm doing um, and I'm just setting them down until that oil and butter that's oil and butter gets nice and hot and then I drop them into the pan and I let them cook up until they get nice and you know cooked on one side and then I flip them. But yeah, it's a really simple recipe. I'll put it down in the description if you want. But this is after maybe like, I don't know, six, seven minutes. Because if you don't know, tuna in the can is already fully cooked. You don't even need to cook it. Some people don't know that. And that's why I'm telling you. Um, basically, you're just adding some color to this. And you know, you're trying to cook it so it sticks together, you know, and forms a patty. Okay. This this was delicious and like I said this is a struggle meal because I didn't even have milk and so, so when I made the macaroni and cheese that I put on the side of this um, instead of milk I used pasta water these kids couldn't tell the difference and they was eating everything but the green beans because as you can see they look a little sad but them tuna patties they was raving about them tuna patties baby all right have a good day